And as we start things off, looking live at our Fox 10 storm tracker radar, a little different than what we had this time yesterday morning with rain and storms around the coastal communities. For today, we're dry, but we do have thunderstorm activity located off the coast of the Panhandle. That is where heavy rain and lightning has been occurring, as well as a special marine warning, although our lightning tracker is actually showing one strike showing up around US 98 between Gulf Breeze proper and Navarre. You don't really have to have showers to have lightning in place, so always bear that in mind. And in the summertime, we do see freak lightning strikes similar to that in many locations. Today, we are expecting a 50% chance of rain and storms. Most of us are going to have a good shot to see that because that frontal boundary still remains stalled to our north. And as long as this thing is here, rain chances will be decent. We'll see them forming ahead of the boundary and tracking from the northwest to the southeast. Now, the good news is this front is going to start to move away from us and dissipate tomorrow, and that's going to help lower the chance of rain for our area back to 20% tomorrow and Saturday. In the tropics, everything's calm and quiet. No disturbances to speak of in the Atlantic, the Caribbean, or the Gulf of Mexico, and that means great news for us because tropical development is not expected over the next four to five days. Temperatures right now very mild. 73 in the Port City, 76 degrees in Gulf Shores. Lower 70s are in Jackson and Evergreen, as well as Milton and Crestview. Pascagoula, you're sitting with a temperature of 69 degrees right now. Theodore, you're sitting at 73. Fairhope around 70 and mainly 70s across Baldwin County as well as Escambia County, Florida. Perdido Key, you're sitting at 79. The Naval Air Station coming in with a temperature of 72. But let's talk about the rain with that stalled front to our north. Here's how things are going to be looking throughout the day today. The sky predominantly mostly cloudy, very low rain chances through the morning. But watch what happens by the afternoon. One o'clock, the showers and storms flare up quickly with the heating of the day. The biggest dangers? Heavy rain and lightning. You can almost be guaranteed those will always be the two biggest dangers in any thunderstorm that shows up in the summer. And then as we run forward to about four this afternoon, pockets of heavy rain and strong storms in several locations. We see the same deal by the time we hit six o'clock this evening. But once the sun goes down, watch what happens. The rain and storms fade away fast, and we will see things going clear in many locations overnight tonight and as we ease on into your Friday. If you're going down to Pensacola Beach to the air, show the probability of rain along the coastline this afternoon thankfully is much lower high today going to be 89 degrees with scattered storms your rain chance 50 percent will have a north wind at four to eight miles an hour tonight mainly dry a low rain chance winds calm lows will be in the mid to lower 70s and here's how the next seven days are going to stack up for you the rain chances really drop down tomorrow saturday and sunday that's going to be great for weekend plans but the temperatures climb as a result of that and next week more of the same we dodge more heat and humidity and more scattered thunderstorm activity with the odds ramping back up by next Wednesday. Guys?